Greetings my esteemed subscribers. Today I want to talk a bit about manliness, feminism, how to treat women, chivalry, that type of stuff. And I will begin with saying the following. I am against feminism because I love women. Now I've seen as of late, and not only as of late, I've seen it over many years, I've spoken out against it and I I'm doing so in this video as well. I've seen anti-female sentiments online which I very much do not appreciate and I think many guys they approach the topic from uh, the flip side of feminism. So just the other side of the same coin which means that you dislike women and you view it as a competition between the genders and of course this is very unnatural to say the least. Now my own view of women is that you should love and treasure your women and I also want to create a culture in which men love and treasure their women. Now as you all know I have a daughter and I have another one on the way. Thank you all for your well wishes on uh, our Instagram post that uh, my wife and I put up. So anyway I want to create a culture in which you in which men, young men, they grew up to treat women in a certain way, in accord with chivalry, in accord with what is decent behavior for a gentleman. Now, when I see then masculine role models, manly role models, such as Andrew Tate, I didn't want to say all too much when he got arrested and everything like that, because I didn't know enough about it, but what I can see, and he's not the only one by by any means, I've seen similar guys before that they present a view of women that isn't congruent with the vision I want to present. So I want all young men to grow up viewing women in a good way. Now I understand perfectly fine that modern women aren't all too great because of many reasons. I don't endorse feminism because it turns females into inferior males, simply put you reduce the sacred feminine in into something that is not and that is something I'm very much opposed to so therefore I am against feminism I am against no-fault divorce I am against promiscuity all of these things that does not mean that I am against women that is because I'm for women I don't want to see the sacred feminine or women being degraded in this way which they are in the modern world so perhaps even Perhaps I should say that I'm against modernity's view of women rather than feminism, to make it even more precise what I mean. Now, something to be said as well, that no one should really be surprised that men like Andrew Tate become popular. That is a quite normal reaction upon the feminism that has gone too far. Uh, a long time ago it went too far, so no one should be surprised when young men are being drawn to guys like Andrew Tate. And I'm not saying that all of his teachings are bad, I'm just saying that some of the stuff he has done in regards to women, it's not something I can endorse in the list. But he presents some good views as well, I will give him that, no question about it at all. And I do also believe that it's normal for young men to be attracted to his lifestyle when they are being presented with the other lifestyle which is then an unmanly bugman who is a male feminist, something like that. Now of course I don't want to make this video into me elaborating on how great I am but I would say the following because I've gotten this comment so many times so I'm saying what others are saying about me, I'm not saying this about myself, I am, I am far from perfect in all actuality. Believe it or not, I'm far from perfect as a, as a person. I do try to be perfect, but I've said, others have said to me that they view me as a good role model. So then, I just have to wonder, the powers that be, if you don't want someone like Andrew Tate, why are you making my life harder by removing my Instagram account, my Facebook account, shadow banned on YouTube, banned on Patreon, why are you making my work harder if you say something is wrong with these guys like Andrew Tate but then you don't allow someone like me, I'm not even saying me personally, I'm, used, I'm, just, I'm just using myself as an example here because I'm hardly the only one with a similar view of men and women 
who has been banned. But anyway, if you work on Facebook, please restore my old Instagram account, The Glorious Lion, and also my Facebook page if you can. And I can present a, a more positive view of women and of relationships. So instead of having this sort of bad boy uh, sleeping with new women every night, that type of attitude, which I've always been very much against, I don't view that as manly at all. Which brings me to my next point. What is manliness? Manliness, in my humble opinion, is taking responsibility. So when you take responsibility for something, that is an act of manliness. Now, I don't like to use the term masculinity because it's, you know, you associate it with these masculinity gurus who come up with strange theories. So I say manliness instead. And I had a professor at the university and he said that you become a man when you have the responsibility over someone else. So most common example would be to be a father, but you don't need to be a father to be manly in that way because you can take great responsibility for other things. And this also leads me into something I want to have said about Jordan Peterson. Now I respect the good work he has done over the years. I don't know how well he is. He has been as of late. I have no idea. I'm not going to speculate, but he has said some good stuff. Something, however, I would like to say that where we depart from each other radically is, you know, in the view of individualism versus collectivism. In my humble opinion, you take responsibility for your community, for your tribe, so to speak. So your self-improvement journey, it's not for yourself. It's to be a good person to others. It's so you can take upon yourself more responsibility. So when I say to you that you should optimize your health, it's not only about yourself. It's also about others because they depend on you. So if you take responsibility for your family, yeah, then you also need to take responsibility for yourself. So when we're talking about self-improvement, going to the gym, being the best that you can be, it doesn't end with yourself. When you have optimized yourself, when you are in a good position, then you can find something else to take responsibility for. In Jordan Peterson's vision, he wants you to be an individual among individuals. And I'm just gonna say it that you're not an individual. You are piece of a larger puzzle and you need to be the best piece you can possibly be. So I just wanted to have that all said. Hopefully it makes sense. And to conclude my thoughts, I am tired of these anti-female sentiments. They are not congruent with our great vision of bringing back chivalry to the West. And uh, you should treasure women. Even if modern woman isn't something to be treasured, the divine feminine and women, they still are. And there are good ones out there, believe it or not. And when it comes to manliness, it's about taking responsibility. And lastly, no one should be surprised that individuals like Andrew Tate gain popularity because ultimately, as bad as he is, he's still a better role model than what is being presented in schools with a submissive bugman without any will or drive. So I'm not surprised that young men are driven into the arms of someone like that. Again, I don't endorse what he has done. I don't think he's necessarily a good man, but I also understand that he's attractive to young men in search for guidance if they aren't being if they aren't being presented with something else. So, good times, good times. Thank you for watching. XXO boom.